Hello everybody and welcome back to HPG Bricks. Uh, this video is going to be another haul video and as you can see I have two Lego bags and a poly bag that is exposed. So I guess we'll start with that. The poly bag I actually just picked up today. I just browsed through the Lego section at Walmart and they had this one that I hadn't seen before so I picked it up. It's set 30533 Ninjago Legacy Sam X. So just saw this one. I like to collect poly bags and it's got some cool pieces in it, so I picked that one up. And then next we have these two Lego bags, which if it isn't obvious yet, there's two pick a brick cups in there. So these pick a brick cups are actually from different locations. So I don't know which one's which, so we'll just start with whichever one is first. All right, so this one here, I picked up in New Jersey at the Freehold Mall in Freehold, New Jersey. So this one, it's obviously got a lot of dark orange tiles and a, lots of tiles and neutral colored pieces. And finally these white arch pieces that I've been looking for for a while. So there's that one. And then this next one, my mom actually got for me on a trip that she just got back from to Tennessee. So this cup was bought at the only Lego store in Tennessee, Opry Mills uh, Mall. And they had some brown round two by two tiles and these olive green pieces, some window pieces. So yeah, she was sending me pictures of the wall and asking if there was anything good and what I wanted. And so that's what a lot of these pieces are, plus some of her own personal touches in there. So we'll go ahead and dump these cups out. I'll show you what's in them. And then I should be able to sort them as well. So let's start with the New Jersey cup first. Gotta get this tape off. That was surprisingly pretty easy. Now it's stuck to my hands. Love that. All right. Here we go. So we'll do the pour. Make sure we got a good shot. All right. So we've got lots of dark orange tiles. We've got some big window panels, the arches, dark tan and white tiles, uh, the burgundy curved tiles. So that's that one. And then we'll do the next one. Gotta get the tape off of this one. They use heavy duty tape at this Lego store. Alright, got some pieces stuck to the tape there. Alright, so I imagine the first thing you notice is this here. They said that they were putting these windows in and one of the employees that works there offered to show them a trick with these windows so they were able to stack them together to save space and put pieces inside of the windows as well. So that's really smart. And then everything else here a lot of the brown tiles, a lot of the olive green pieces, more dark orange, uh, more dark red curved pieces, lots of just little random stuff that they threw in, which is perfectly fine. Spider, gold pieces, and wheels and such. That's great. So yeah, this is the two pick a brick cups here. Oh, you can't even see that. Here. <laughs> so... I will uh, sort these out and that should be the next, next clip that you see. I'll go ahead and sort them out. All right guys, so here's what we have after the cups have been sorted. It took me about 30 minutes, I'd say, to sort it all. The trays aren't divided by cup. It's kind of just however I was able to fit it in there. So just start out over here. This is the like random compartment of all the extra little things that got thrown in. Some gold pieces, some flowers, uh, bubbles and studs and whatnot. Uh, down here we have round 2x2 two two gray tiles, these 2x2 two two olive green slopes, 2x2 two two, uh, dark red macaroni tiles, 1x2 dark red plates, 1x4 dark green tiles, 2x2 two two brown round tiles, uh, these little 
gold clip things. I'm not sure what the exact name is. They're round on one side and have the bar clip on the other. Uh, some window frames. These I'm very excited about. These quarter round white slope things are good for like awnings on top of big windows and whatnot. You put four of them together and it would look like the top of a an ice cream scoop. So that'll be cool. Uh, I got a surprising amount of these little star pieces. There's just a lot of them. I'll have to figure out something that I can do that uses a lot of them. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. We got a little bit of these one by two uh, modified plates with the slope on one side. We have two by two dark tan tiles, two by six tan plates, a good amount of one by two white tiles, which I'm very excited about. There's something on one of them. <laughs> Uh, going up here, we have one by two dark blue plates and four of these little uh, lime green bucket thingies. And then I believe if I counted correctly, there should be 21 of these uh, six by six by one window frames, which are going to be awesome for just building storefronts and buildings like that all together. 21 of them there. They're actually 12 in one cup and then nine in the other cup. And then to finish it all off, I was putting these in a compartment, but then it got too full. We have a little more than half of a cup of the dark orange one by two tiles. And those are gonna be awesome for uh, brick on the front of a house or just detailing tile in a floor or on a road or a driveway or anything like that. So yeah, these are all really great pieces that I'm very excited about, and I'm glad that I was able to sort it out to be able to show you guys. Once again, I have a lot of these stars, so if you have any suggestions on what to do with that, please let me know. But yeah, so this is my, um, my pick a brick haul of two cups, and I'm pretty happy with what I've got here. Alright, thanks guys, and thanks for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!